Hey guys, how's it going? Welcome back to another video. Today is Huddersfield away. It's absolutely freezing outside. I have no idea what temperature it is, but it's just cold. That's all I'm going to say. Um, Huddersfield away today. I'm going to go for a 2 0 win. I think it'll be a comfortable win, and hopefully, we get a clean sheet. We have no Russell Martin at pitch side today because he's picked up too many yellow cards, so he'll be in the stands. But yeah, I'm going to go for a 2 0 win, and yeah, I'll see you when we get there. Let's 
There we go then guys, back from Huddersfield. Honestly, a real disappointing performance today from the players. Um, first half was okay, but I thought it was a bit slow. And then second half, Huddersfield just grew into the game. And the mentality of the players just didn't seem to be there at all. I felt like we lacked killer instinct uh, to get that second goal. The cutting edge, I just don't get it. Like Our attacking threat is just really poor today, I don't know why. Um, taking off Salamana as well in the 50th minute, I just don't understand. Um, I didn't really think Ndozi did much when he came on. But yeah, I just don't seem to understand it. Like We can't break down these teams that sit behind the ball and then we literally like give them a chance and then the crowd gets behind them. And then they eventually score. Like, just it's just, you could see it happening. Like, I just don't understand. Same thing happened against Rotherham at home as well. But yeah, I just don't know. It's so disappointing, so frustrating. Two points dropped definitely today. But yeah, fair play to Huddersfield. The goal was probably fluky as hell. It's clear cross and somehow it ends up in the back of the net. But yeah, I didn't even think like anyone played well for us today. If I'm honest, as well, like. There just didn't seem any energy about the team. There was no urgency to move the ball forwards. It was just backwards, sideways, backwards, sideways. There was no, like I said, attacking instinct at all other than that great little bit of play down the left-hand side for the goal for Armstrong just before half-time. But yeah, just it's just so frustrating. Anyway, on a positive note, at least we're unbeaten in nine games now. Next game is Bristol City on Wednesday, so a quick turnaround. Um, no idea if the squad will rotate or anything, but yeah. Also, if you're gonna go to Hardfield, just don't like. There's literally nothing there. There's it's just oh, I don't, like, honestly, it's just in the middle of nowhere, pretty much. Like there's just loads of industrial estates and loads of lorries and yeah, like queuing to get into the stadium for 45 minutes is ridiculous. I've never had to do that before ever. I've been to quite a few grounds. Like that's just crazy. They're not used to like big away attendances or something because obviously we sold out but yeah it's just ridiculous anyway that's the end of this please like subscribe and i'll see you in the next one for bristol city at home peace